Now before we begin, we're going to want some brand new source code to work with. I have mine down here, which I have already gone. And we're going to want this just because if you manually compile it with the compiler that comes with it, it's going to cause problems once you import it into Eclipse. So now that we have our source code, we are going to want to create a new project within Eclipse itself. Now I'm going to name mine Marsplot2, just because I already have Largebot. Now instead of using the default location, we are going to actually use the source code, the location of the source code that we just got for the fresh uh, new R spot. And now we're going to hit finish, and we're going to wait for that to build the workspace. Except now, what this does and what this allows is that it synchronizes the folder within Eclipse with the folder that we have that the source code is actually in. So it does not create separate folders within Eclipse. Uh, and now, what this means is that any, any changes that you make in Eclipse will also affect the files and will be exactly the same as the files in the folder. So after we've made our new project, we're going to want to change the settings for where we want the compiler uh, to compile to within Eclipse. And to do that, we're going to go down to, we're going to go to properties of the project, then Java build path, and we're going to want to hit the option of allow output folders for source folders. Now what this does is give us another option, which we can then to say specifically where we want the scripts and the source code to be compiled to. And now we don't want the scripts to be compiled to the default output folder just because that is where all the source code goes. So we're going to want to change that to the actual scripts folder where they should be compiled to. And now we also want to change, or we also want to add in a SVN uh, exclusion so that all the SVN files that came with, the, uh, came with downloading the bot uh, do not get compiled. And to do that, we're going to go to excluded and then add. And we're going to use the star star as, as our variable for the name of the file. And we're going to add that to both the source code and the scripts. Uh, that's me on. And then we're going to hit OK. So after changing the settings, what they allow us to do is it tells Eclipse to compile the scripts in the to the scripts folder as soon as we make changes and save them. So as we as soon as we save the scripts, it will compile them in real time. So now that we have the scripts and source code compiled in real time, we're, go we're going to want to have the bot run within Eclipse itself. And to do that, we're going to want to create a new run configuration up here at the green play button. And then we're going to create a new Java application and you can name it whatever you want. And we are going to change the project to rspot2. And then the main class, and the main class should be the main class of the bot itself. And for rspot, it happens to be the boot, the boot class. So we're going to want to click OK. And now because rspot takes so long to road, I'm just going to hit apply, close. But you would normally hit run, or you can hit run up here. So although the bot currently isn't working, I'm still able to show you just how this process makes your script developing that much easier. And now, to show you this, I am going to change around some settings within a script that I've been working on, and I am going to change the version from 0.5, which is what the bot would currently run at the moment, to something something else. And then I'm going to go save the script, and now as soon as I save it, it synchronizes with the bot. So the next time that I run the script, it's going to be that that it's going to have that version of the script in in the change settings that you have just done. So now that you're able to do this, you no longer have to close down the bot, recompile, run it again, just to test out a few changes that you've made with the script. You can actually run the script and uh, change it in real time. Uh, and now some things that you want to watch out for is that you do not want to use the manual compiler that came with the RSBot itself anymore. You want to use Eclipse's just because if you use the manual compiler, it will overlap the files and mess, or mess up the configuration they have with Eclipse and it will no longer work. Uh, and also, the second thing is that you, after every single SVN update, uh, you're going to want to have to refresh the project. And to do that, you're going to want to right click on the project and then either hit F5 or you can go down and hit refresh. And what this does is it synchronizes the files within the folder that you just updated with the files that Eclipse has. So they were able to work on them. So if any files get added, they get added as well in Eclipse. So that is all. And hopefully you've enjoyed the video and maybe even learned something.